screen. Okay, so thank you for inviting me again to do a skincare training for uh, the Diamond Group. This is really a privilege for me to share my knowledge in the past few years about Forever Living Products skincare. So I hope everybody has switched on their cameras and I hope you can all hear me. Can you please uh, type one in the chat box if you can hear me? Just to know if everybody's um, paying attention. <laughs> okay, all right, great. And I know there will be more coming uh, later on, but let me start. So my name is Marian Isguera, and I'm a nurse by profession, uh, just like what uh, Power and Nikolai said. But I never really practiced my profession because uh, when I worked in Dubai, I immediately moved on to another job, which is customer service and supply chain. But Fast forward, the reason why I'm doing this business right now and why I'm using the products of Forever is because the products are simply amazing. Actually, um, the reason why I do this skincare training because this is very close to my heart. When I was still at my teens, um, I really had a very bad skincare. All right, so this was not me during my teen uh, teenage years, but this is my face on the left-hand side of the screen when I, I haven't used yet the Forever Living Products skincare. So as you can see, I had a lot of marks, I had some pimples, and it just keeps on coming back. But I wouldn't blame um, anybody for this but myself because really back in the days, I really had a very poor diet. I was eating a lot of junk. I'm not sleeping um, properly, and I don't take care uh, so much of my skin. In fact, I used to use a lot of chemical products on my face, and I never really understood what I had to do to keep my skin better. So I tried to research, and I tried to try a lot of products mm -hmm. until I met Forever Living Products. So... Um, later on, I will explain to you how my skin has transformed, but you can see here on the right-hand side, the difference. So here, I really did not put uh, on makeup on my face, but only under my eyes. So you can see the difference. I lost the pimples and I even lost the marks. So that's the wonder of forever living. And you can see here <laughs> uh, on the left-hand side, so... Apart from my face, you can see my weight. <laughs> so simply because I did not have really a good diet and it can show on my skin. And here on the right-hand side, I put on makeup, but I tried to face in front of the sun because usually even if a woman has a makeup on, but they get under the sun, a person can tell if the skin is good or not. All right, so here you can see that it's, a bit of uh, improved, it's a bit flawless as compared to the left hand. So now I'm going to share with you my secret and what I've learned through the years, what we need to do to take care of our skin. So normally, uh, the skin is actually the most, uh, the largest organ in the body. And I'm talking about skincare right now, not just for women, but also for men. So this training would be for men and women because we must understand that our skin is the body's first and best defense. Why? Because it's the largest organ and it's the first organ that a person will see. I don't know if you've noticed or you've experienced it, but let's say you haven't seen a friend for so many years or for so many months after the quarantine. And then all of a sudden, when you meet him in, in an event or somewhere else, and then that person will tell you something, probably a feedback like, Uy, blooming ka. You look blooming. You look glowing. Or parang stress ka lately. You look a bit stressed. Or have you had been sleeping? Ayan. So, so those feedback actually 
came upon the conclusion of their obs- observation on your skin. Makikita nila yan lahat ah, kaagad. They will see it right away on your face, on your appearance. And the appearance, um, our skin speaks for that. So it's very, very important. Now, um, unfortunately for us, we cannot put on a, like a human shield like, or a human PPE like this, like Iron Man. Because we already have it. That's our skin. So our duty is to take care of our skin from head to foot. So now I'm go- going to explain to you. Now, um, for us, for every business owners, if you're new to this business or you've been doing this business for a long time, I'd like you to know that the demand of the skincare products right now is very high. And we should not ignore that because that's business. That will bring us money. So here you can see on this graph, you can see the demand from 2019. There's $4.75 billion US dollars. And it's predicted that in year 2024, there will be 7.15 billion US dollars of demand all over the world. So mind you, they're looking for natural and organic skincare products. Now, the great news is that we are under the natural and uh, organic range. So it's a real good news for us. So as for every business owners, what we just need to do now is to know how to market it and how to recommend it to our prospects, to our customers, and of course, we need to know the benefits of the forever skincare products for ourselves. All right, so the next slide is, I'm going to talk about the common skin issues that uh, people or Asians face, especially Filipinos uh, in our country right now. So let me just share with you top five that I've read from a very renowned uh, skincare product. And according to their survey, these are the common skin issues that Filipinos face right now. So number one is acne. Now acne, it has four grades. It means uh, it's the severity or kung gano siya kalala. Ayan. So on the grade one, this is the type of acne that I usually have when I'm exposed under the sun, or you might have some a bit of irritation uh, or a bit of a climate change has happened. This is what I usually get. And on grade two naman, you can see there are papules. These are like um, a bit of bumps, which are reddish. And some of it becomes parang nana or infection. That's why some of the pimples become greenish. Ayan. And it becomes painful as well. And on the grade three, you can see the worst um, case. So it becomes bigger. It becomes more like you cannot touch it anymore. And it becomes, um, what's this? Unattractive when you go out, right? Medyo nakakahiya na siya pag nasa labas ka. Kasi alam mo na you'll be noticed for it. And I really reached this point before when I told you that I used to have a poor lifestyle. And on the grade four naman, this, these are all like um, infectious cyst na siya. So very infected na siya na pimples. And usually at this stage, uh, you really need um, like antibiotics, etc. So you really need a medical advice for this. Ayan. So this is number one. Now number two is eczema. So here you can see these are like red spots they're also rough papansin mo when you touch them uh, mag- magaspang sila tas nangangate and then normally they're just um in one area in one small area of your body but they can occur on your face on your arms on your legs or even on your um torso ayan so you can see it and then later on when it becomes really severe or malala it become psoriasis or even uh, a really, really um, chronic skin irritation. So this one is the top two Ayan, uh, skin issue in the Philippines. And number three, rashes naman. Ayan. 
So some of the rashes, um, you can see flat lay lang sila. Um, normally, yung, there are like a little bumps on some areas and then there are flat red areas. And then they're really, really, really itchy. Sobrang makate. Ayan. And then normally, when you really um, scratch them, they become larger and larger. Parang kumakalat sila. So this is also some of the cause. Number four, warts or kulugo. Ayan. So I guess dito sa Philippines, this is very common. Ayan, warts. And just to let you know, this is a, a virus. Right? So para din pala siyang, para siyang coronavirus. It's also contagious. But you can see it on the skin. Unlike the corona, of course, you can see it. So here, it's a skin-to-skin -skin contact. Uh, ibig sabihin, uh, you, if you have warts right now, you can infect a person whom probably nakipagbeso-beso ka or you're using his or her handkerchief or yung towel or soap, etc. Ayan. So you have to be very careful in, in terms of that because nakakahawa po ito. Ayan. So there are different sizes. There are small to large ones na very evident. And then here, makapapansin mo, common, I think, is on the neck. Ayan, on the neck and on the face. And then here, sa right side naman, medyo malalaki siya. So these are also kulugo. Uh, you can have it on other parts of your body. Yung iba talagang lumalaki. So depende yan. So it becomes a skin tag na, no? Now, and the last uh, skin, well, it's not a skin issue, but it's a skin concern which we are unable to avoid which is yung aging, aging lines. So you can have on this one, you can have some crow's feet, yung mga wrinkles dito, pag ngumiti ka, parang may mga linya-linya dyan. And then here naman sa face, you can see some brown spots or dark spots. Ayan, depende sa sun exposure. And then here, on the sides of your cheek or of your lips, there will be some lines also or wrinkles when you smile. Ayan. So, sabi nga nila, uh, if, you, if you smile most of the time, you'll have less fine lines or aging lines rather than frowning. Pag, pag ikaw yung, if you're the type of person who always frown, yung palagi kang malungkot, mukhang problematic, bagsak yung mukha mo, so the lines will be more evident. Pero if you're a very smiley person, you can help ayan, avoid these. So, ang maganda, and pag nagka-lines ka naman, when you're a smiling person, yung lines mo pataas. Ayan, so at least, di ba, pataas yung aging lines natin. So, now that we know yung mga common skin issues ng tao, especially Filipinos, um, ano ba yung cause nito? What are the causes of this? So, number one is, according to experts, genetics daw. Genetics meaning it runs in your blood. Probably hereditary siya, parang um, based on your blood type or whatever, or your blood composition or DNA. Ayan. And then number two naman is sun exposure. So normally, especially dito sa Philippines, I noticed that um, there are a lot of hardworking people. And then here, it really gets hot during summer. So some of the people, they uh, carry with them umbrella. Some of them, they put um, sunscreen, but some of them don't. So if you lack knowledge about this, later on, maybe in 10 to 15 years, you can see that your skin is damaged because of too much sun exposure, especially right now. Na iba na yung quality ng sun rays that we receive. Now, number three is the diet, yung food natin. And I'm also guilty of this because when I showed you my picture before, I know I'm. Uh, I know that I'm quite similar to probably some of you, na who really loves fast food, de ba? I mean, who who hates pizza or burger or French fries or fast food or whichever na bad, de ba? So especially as Filipinos, we love to eat a lot. And here in the Philippines, I remember when we came here in December. We were so happy because food was everywhere. <laughs> so there were a lot of celebrations, etc. So, ayan. So it has to do with some poor diet also. So pag, if you're eating poor quality food, if it's not 
healthy for you, it will normally manifest on your skin. Now, number four is cosmetics. Ayan, yung mga makeup. So, this is especially for women, no? Yung, especially right now, makeup has been a really a fad. I mean, all, I think all sorts of brands right now are coming out. Korean, Japanese, American, whichever sorts of makeup brand uh, are already there in the market. And you have to be careful because not all makeups are good for your skin. That's why for me, since I do trainings like this, of course, I have to dress up. I have to prepare. I have to put on makeup. And what I do is, uh, since Forever Living doesn't have any makeup uh, line, so what I do is when I look for a makeup brand, I check if it's um, organic or it doesn't have lead content. And um, I mean, uh, lesser evil. I'm looking for the healthiest, kumbaga, although I know that it's, it has a bit of a chemical in it. Ayan. And then I make sure that I wash my face right away after using makeup. So cosmetics then. Um, that's why a lot of people break out, um, papansin nila, and then they have skin irritations as well because of putting so much makeup. And then lastly naman um, are medications or drugs, yan, meds. So here, kung papapansin nyo, I only showed you five because these are only the major reasons of skin issues. But there are a lot more. There are a lot of factors. So here on number five, um, here in the Philippines, um, I noticed that there are a lot of people with health problems. And doctors, of course, would recommend the medicines. And um, of course, as a patient, you would always take the advice of the doctor and take it. But if you're taking it for a longer period of time, of course, and if it's like, example, antibiotic, antibiotic uh, destroys your gut or your colon. So normally you'll have irritation in your gut, which later on can affect your skin. Yeah, and so this is also one of the causes. All right. Mm -hmm. So next slide is, now that you know what are the issues of Filipinos, especially? Um, and number two, what are the causes? How are we going to avoid skin problems? Or, or how do we take care of our skin? Number one, which is the most important, is diet. Diet meaning not, it's not that you have to lose weight necessarily, but you have to make sure that you have a balanced diet. So here you can see, I really put this picture here para makita natin because this is often neglected here in the Philippines. Like, um, as for me, as a Filipino, I really love, like for me, yung celebration, celebratory food ko parang crispy pata, ayan, fried chicken, spaghetti, french fries, ayan. So uh, there are really a lot of yummy foods, but they're bad for us. So, we normally neglect na yung mga natural and um, whole grain, whole produce like this. You can see on this bowl, there's fresh avocado, fresh tomato, uh, fresh what, uh, spinach or basil, cucumber, corn, and quinoa. So, normally, this is what we should take. The more natural and less preservatives, the better. Kasi... The, uh, the vitamins and the minerals in the food is what we absorb. So normally, kung processed na siya, kung processed meat, or normally yung mga cup noodles, um, what else, yung mga corned beef, ayan, yung mga delata, these are already processed and there are a lot of chemicals in it. So when you eat it, actually wala ka na na-absorb na, uh, nutrients. So ang nangyayari, yung katawan mo, nabubusog ka lang, but hindi mo na na-absorb yung proper vitamins and minerals that will boost your body to become better. And of course, to make your skin healthy. That's why this one is very, very important. Now we shift to a balanced diet and as natural as possible. Now, number two is water. Um, it's very important, especially in our country, that we need to drink at least eight glasses of water. So like for us, um, for us po in the morning, uh, we normally don't switch on the aircon. So we put on an electric fan and we just open the windows and open the door. So there's fresh air, but not most of the time. So normally, pinapawisa kami. 
we sweat a lot and we have to replace that. So minimum of eight glasses, but you can go more depending po sa pinapawis nyo. Kasi the more hydrated you are, the more hydrated your skin is. Diba? So the more kang mas mukhang youthful or mas bata. Yeah. And then number three naman is exercise. So right now, um, because of the COVID situation, we have now the liberty to do our exercise kahit sa bahay lang. And at least 30 minutes lang po na exercise is okay in a day. So you can like do your own Zumba at home. Ayan, kung may internet tayo, may TV, we can watch and follow them. Or sayaw-sayaw po ng kaunti. Or lakad-lakad, walking. Or if you want some high-intensity exercises, which I see Nicola is doing. And you can also do that. And there are a lot of videos right now. And even Forever Living has videos that we can follow. So why? Because this promotes proper blood circulation. That means more oxygen to the body. So that will give your skin a glow. Kaya napansin mo, if when, um, after you exercise, yung skin mo parang medyo pinkish siya. Parang um, nag-glow yung skin mo. Simply because there's oxygen. The more pinkish you are, or medyo reddish, except there are a lot of oxygen that is flowing to your skin. That's why exercise is very important. And number four is, of course, hygiene. Hygiene meaning dapat naliligo po tayo every day. Yan. So I think wala naman siguro hindi naliligo tido daily, di ba? Especially in the Philippines, uh, um, I think, like for us, we take a bath siguro mga two to three times in a day. Kasi sobra kami pagpawisan. And here, you really love the cold water. No? So it's really refreshing. So hygiene is very important kasi just imagine yung, uh, all the dust, all the bacteria, virus around in the air will um, stick to your skin and then you have to wash that off. And so hygiene is also important. And of course, number five, we have to take proper nutrition or food supplements. So I'm not saying that this will be a replacement po to our food, but we need food supplements to add to our food that we eat on a daily basis. And this I will share later. Number six naman is sunscreen. So sunscreen, we really need this on a daily basis, especially pag lalabas tayo. Um, before, years ago, they say that you only apply sunscreen when you are going to the beach or you're going for sunbathing. Ayan. But right now, since the sun is very harmful for the skin, we need to put sunscreen even if there's no, I mean, there's no sun talaga na makikita mo sa labas. As long as there's light or day outside, you have to put sunscreen. And also for us uh, FBOs who are working in front of the laptop on our mobile or in front of a ring light or in front of a light, uh, direct light, we have to put um, sun protection on our face po because these are also radiation that can burn our skin, especially if you're very sensitive. So for me, even if I'm just at home and I'm working on the laptop or I'm working on my mobile this close, I put um, sunscreen also on my face. Yeah. And then of course, lastly, we need to take the proper skincare. Yeah, all right. So now that I've told you um, how to take care of our skin, um, next slide is I want to tell you how important our product is. So here you can see that in the ancient times, aloe vera, which is the base product of forever, has been used by Cleopatra. So Cleopatra is, the, according to history, she's the most beautiful queen in Egypt. And according to what's written, so there, there were a lot of research and there were a lot of historians who wrote about her. Some of them, they say uh, they, uh, she baits or naliligo po siya in aloe vera. Yeah, and so that's how she takes care of her skin. Kaya she's the most beautiful. Sobrang ganda daw po talaga ng balat niya. Her skin is really like glowing and very youthful because of the aloe vera. And number two is Christopher Columbus. So Christopher Columbus, 
uh, was um, what's this? Uh, conqueror before, navigator. So normally they go to one land to another para to get another land or to conquer another land and make it theirs. And normally with him, there are soldiers. And apart from the soldiers, they also have uh, aloe vera with them, fresh aloe vera, so that when the soldiers get wounded during the war, they use this aloe vera to cure or to heal the wounds of their soldiers. Yeah. And so before, kasi hindi pa uso na yung mga uh, gamot, so they use natural and they use aloe vera. That's how powerful aloe vera is. And in Forever Living products, we use only the best. So there are 400 types of aloe vera, but we use aloe barbadensis miller. This is the type that we use. Why? Because this is the most potent, meaning po, it's the most concentrated, most nutritious, and the safest aloe vera that even if you drink it or even if you apply it on your skin, it's very safe. Because some of the aloe vera that we plant Normally po here in the Philippines, there are a lot of aloe vera that I see in the backyard. That's not the type of aloe vera that we're using. We're using the best because some of the aloe vera can be poisonous and some of them probably they only have like 50% or at least uh, what 25 to 10% of the benefits of the aloe vera that we're using. So why, look, why use that when we have the best, right? And Aloe vera also has a lignin property, meaning it's deep penetrating. That's why um, here in the room, I'm sure uh, some of you have used our products already, especially um, our aloe vera jelly, the tube. If you apply it on your skin, siguro in a few seconds or in a few minutes, you will see that it's already dry. If you put like a big part of aloe vera jelly, later on a few minutes, Parang wala na siya, flat na siya, na absorb na siya na skin. It's because of the lignin property. Because the, our aloe vera seeps into the skin really fast. It's easily absorbable. That's why yung nutrients niya, it travels through the skin up to the innermost cellular level. Yeah. And the next is saponin property naman. So saponin property, it means it's like a sabon or soap. Yeah, kaya it's called saponin. So it's really a good cleanser of the skin. Not only outside, but also in, inside the body. And of course, lastly, safe. Yeah, and so just like what I said. All right, so just to give you a quick background, I know you have uh, watched this already, but just to give you um, more confidence on the company, our company plants our own aloe vera. So the reason why we plant our own aloe vera is because we want to be in control of the quality. So meaning we want to know, uh, Forever Living wants to know how it's uh, handled. Now here on the right hand side of the slide, you can see that this is our plantation. And as long as the eye can see, yan po ang plantation natin. It's in South Africa, in Dominican Republic, and also in Texas. So it's really a wide actor of um, aloe vera and we don't use any chemicals on that now what we do is we only get the inner leaf ito po yung transparent gel sa loob ng leaf we don't use the leaf at all which is normally mapapansin niyo po sa mga products sa market sa mga groceries sa pharmacy you will see there are a lot of aloe vera products outside but if you look at the back the ingredients they will only say um, leaf extract or leaf juice. So just for your information po, the leaf doesn't have any nutrients at all. That's why we only take that leaf out and we only use the inner part of the aloe vera, which is the transparent part. Ayan. And for us or for a company to process this and use it, it's very, very expensive. That's why you will see outside um, yung mga aloe vera products po na non forever, they're very cheap. They're very affordable talaga. Talagang, um, talagang you can buy them on bulk and everything because the company doesn't put so much um, budget on the quality. What they just want is to make sales. But for us, we want to put in the quality. That's why we use the best part of the aloe vera. Now, it, it's also a patented patented stabilization process. So 
uh, we don't have any competitors on this because we are the only company who ensures that the aloe vera from the plant to product to the customer is fresh. Yeah, and so nobody can do this process at all. And these are the seals of approval just to show that there is there are approved um, certifications on our product. All right, so moving on, um, who's excited here to learn about nutrition skincare? Please type two on the chat box. So here I will be discussing kung ano yung mga supplements natin na uh, we need to drink to ensure that our skin care is um, taken care of. All right, that's good. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Now, number one product that we need to take care of, uh, to drink is the aloe vera gel. And we all know that it's the flagship product. So this yellow bottle is very powerful. Can you believe that this bottle has 92% stabilized aloe vera gel inside that you can drink? And yes, that's right, because not all aloe vera gel can be drunk. So ito, this is the safest that, that, uh, that we have. And um, some of the aloe vera juices outside, which they use leaf extract or probably just a minute amount of aloe vera gel, they can only put what, up to 10%. Somebody uh, in Dubai told me this before because they used to make aloe vera juice. Then they said that in the market, except forever, they can only put up to 10 to 15% of aloe vera gel in a juice to make it affordable for consumers. Otherwise, if they go beyond 15%, it's going to be very, very expensive. And here, you're getting 92% already in a bottle at an affordable price. Yeah. And so what more diba, if you're on assistant supervisor level, you're getting this at discounted value. So this is the quality that you get diba, from forever. And like I said, Kanina, it's, it has a cleansing property. So when you drink it, it cleanses your gut or your colon. So once your colon or gut is really, really clean, you're able to absorb the nutrients from your food. Now, when you absorb nutrients from your food, you look, uh, you're healthier, your cells get fed properly, and it will manifest on your skin. That's why in a room full of people, especially when I go to an event, like for example, a global rally event or a conference or a sales rally, you can see in a room of people who drinks aloe vera gel and who doesn't. You can see it on their skin. Talagang mapipinpoint mo kung sino yung aloe vera gel drinker. So ganun siya ka-effective and ganun siya ka-obvious once you drink this. So it's easy and ready to drink. You just drink this um, 60, uh, sorry, 6 ounces or at least 120 ml twice to thrice in a day before meals. Yeah, and it just needs to be part of your diet. And here, you don't need to worry because this drink is very safe. A lot of people has been drinking this even for 42 years. The owner himself, Rex Mon, has been drinking this for 42 years. So it's really, really good. And aloe vera gel or aloe vera is the only plant which can combine a lot of vitamins, amino acids, minerals, enzymes, etc. in one plant. And that's already in this bottle. So dito pa lang, sa product na to, you can already take care of your skin from inside and out. That's why I recommend you, if you're not yet drinking aloe vera gel today, you have to start. This is like a must in every household. Yeah. So number two is RG+. Plus. Now RG+, Plus is a really good product. And normally, this is combined with aloe vera gel. The combination of the two is really, really powerful. Now, why? Because it contains also a lot of vitamins. So imagine it has vitamin C, D3, K2, B6, B12, folic acid. There are also antioxidants like pomegranate, berries, red wine, and cherry extracts. Normally, these are all expensive, I don't know, fruits, right? But Forever Living managed to get all of these from the best sources and to combine them here on this supplement. So this packet is made up of 30 packets. So this is already good for a month for your use. 
Now, once you drink this, you can feel that you have proper oxygenation. Parang you're able to breathe properly. You can see that your stamina, if you're working out or if you're normally cleaning in the home, most of the time, you, you will notice na parang hindi ka napapagod ka agad. You're not tired so much as compared to, to a condition wherein you're not drinking. It's because of the L-arginine, which supports a proper blood circulation on your body. Now, like what I said earlier, if you have proper blood circulation, that means more oxygen. And oxygen gives more life to your cells. Therefore, it will again show on your skin. Yeah. So here, uh, L-arginine can also accelerate healing of skin abrasions. So normally, pag kunyari nagkakasugot ka, any scratch or anything, basta any wound that you have or even burns po when you're cooking, kunyari napasok ka bigla. Ayan. If you're an RG drinker, normally yung healing ng wound mo, it will be faster because your cells are very healthy and there, there's proper blood circulation. So mas mabilis mag-respond yung ating body to healing. Ayan. So this is really also important. And it also has vitamin C which contributes to normal collagen formation. Also berries as antioxidants. So, yun po. Kaya napakaganda niyang product. Now, how do we take RG Plus? Normally, ang recommended pong pag-take ng RG is one sachet, you mix it with at least uh, 300 ml of water. That's enough. And one sachet is already one scoop. So, once in a day, that's already enough. But what I do is, I... I do it like this. I'll share with you. In a, in a glass, I put 60 ml of aloe vera gel. And then I put the one scoop of RG. And then I fill up the glass. So normally, a glass would be, I think, 220 to 240 ml of water. And then I mix it. So in that way, pinagsasabay ko po sila. So si aloe, tsaka si RG+. Plus. I do it every morning. And so this is just uh, a tip. And I think Forever Living, our Forever Owner also is teaching us to drink it at the same time so that you can have, you can have maximum benefits on your skin. Ayan. All right. So next product is uh, Forever Lesium Plus. So I just, I just would like to know who in this room loves pampapute or loves whitening products. Parang wala. <laughs> All right. So why I'm asking is that um, a lot of uh, Filipinos, mostly and even Asians, <laughs> yeah. Um, also, a lot of my friends, they want to be uh, whiter. They want to have more uh, lighter complexion. And it's, um, and it's also a trend. That's why there are a lot of skincare products. When they promote it, they promote the product more of a whitening than a healthier skincare product. And the problem is that most of the skincare right now outside, they overlook what is more important, which is your skin to be healthier than whiter. So as for me, ako, ayoko nagpapapute. I'm happy with my tan skin. So proud Pinoy. But if you encounter a person or a friend like Nikolai na who's looking for pampapote, which I normally encounter when they ask. Or they have some dark spots or they feel na nangingitim sila and then they want just to enhance their complexion. Um, I think this is one of the products that we can recommend. So we don't have any glutathione in our uh, product range, but we have this product. So this supplement contains... Um, Lysium extract, which boosts collagen. So it makes your skin tighter, sun protection, and anti-aging properties. Yeah, so yung mga gusto magpabata, yeah, and this is really good. It also contains licorice extract, which is the ingredient responsible to enhance yung complexion natin. Yeah, and so it's also a powerful antioxidant. And apart from that, it's also a good source of phytonutrients, which means it helps it helps prevent yung disease and keep your body working properly. So the reason why it, in, it helps in enhancing somebody's complexion is not because of the glutathione, but because it has licorice extract. 
So you have to mention this specifically for a person. So normally ako, pag mayroon akong client na naghahanap ng pampapote, I will tell them, uh, normally they look for glutathione, I will tell them na we don't have any glutathione in a range because you don't need that in your body. But we have a supplement that has a natural extract that will help you enhance your complexion. Yeah. So some say that because it cleanses your liver and your kidney, it helps also in enhancing the complexion of your skin. That's why this is also a powerful um, product. Yeah. So next product is vitamin C or our absorbency, which is really, uh, yeah. So thanks, Joanna. Um, absorbency is really a um, high demand product right now. In fact, it's, um, there are a lot of people looking for this right now. Now, apart from, as we know, it promotes healthy immune function. It also supports healthy skin and nails. It, it's a very high antioxidant. So normally, kasi, when our body is exposed to stress, um, whatever stress that may be, it may be financially, mentally, emotionally, physically, or at work, or whatever, normally, our, our body, bumabagsak siya. And when our body is highly stressed, it also affects, of course, yung immune system natin, which in turn affects our skin. So this is also a product for that. Now, absorbency also supports formation of intercellular collagen. So, ano, ano ba ibig sabihin ng collagen? Um, it's like when you're building a build, um, a building or a structure. Ayan. For example, a new mall, di ba? When the, when the construction workers, when they build a mall, normally they have hollow blocks and then they put cement in between the hollow blocks to stick them together and make it firm and sturdy and to make the foundation really strong. Same thing with our body. Yung cells natin na hindi natin nakikita sa skin, they are uh, stuck together or they come in together um, because of the collagen. Ngayon, normally, when we are stressed, we have poor immune system, we are aging, this collagen decreases. That's why you will see that your skin, it bumabagsak siya or nagsasag. Now, if you drink this supplement, it supports yung formation. So it promotes and boosts yung collagen. That's why you become more blooming yeah, and when you drink this. So not only for the immune function. Now, the last supplement that I'm going to share with you is the Forever Royal Jelly. So Royal Jelly, this is, um, this is actually a chewable tablet. It's really, really good. Now, for some, they would like to put it sublingual uh, underneath the tongue for better effect. But for me, I make it as a candy. Now, this Royal Jelly is very powerful because it comes from uh, the bee products, the bee range. It's the secret of the queen bee, bee's uh, longevity. So it's really, really good for hormonal support. Now, what do I mean by this? Normally, sa women, even sa men, um, when you're stressed, when you don't eat properly, when you don't have a good environment, nagkakaroon ka ng uh, hormonal imbalance. Parang nagkakagulo yung hormones mo sa katawan mo. And it also affects your skin. So this, also, this supplement is really good if you take every day as well. So it helps with regulating your hormonal support. And again, it boosts yung collagen and it's very good anti-aging supplement. So sabi nila, Chris Aquino um, drinks a lot, takes a lot of royal jelly. That's why you can see naman her skin, di ba? So she's really into taking care of her skin. So, kung gusto niyo magkaroon ng youthful skin, this is also something that you need to take note. All right. So, let's move on now sa skincare, yung external naman na products natin. So, what I've discussed kanina is how to take care of your skin inside and out. Kasi number one yun, it's very important na alagaan muna natin what's inside. Kasi if we're healthy from the inside, it will manifest on the skin. So, ngayon, before I move on to the skincare products, I want to explain to you why Forever Living products 
skincare is better than other brands. Ayan. So here you can see on your left hand side, it's an image of our skin. We will break this uh, up into three layers. So yung pinaka nasa ibabaw ito, this is epidermis. Pangalawa, dermis. Pangatlo, subcutaneous. Now, you don't have to memorize this, but you have to understand na for some products, yung X brand, yung mga normal na binibili po natin sa labas, sa pharmacy, sa yung nakikita natin online, ayan, yung mga lumalabas sa kung ano-ano na normally mura lang sila and then you don't know the quality of the products. When you wear them or when you apply them on your skin, yung effect po nila hanggang dito lang po sa first layer, sa epidermis. Ayan. So, hindi po siya sumusuot, hindi siya tumatagos up to the subcutaneous. So, why is, why is that bad? It's because the nutrition that you get from those uh, ingredients that you use, it should at least um, penetrate up to the deepest layer of the skin para makuha mo siya. Hence, when I used to use a lot of products before, I will not name any brands, but I really used a lot. Napansin ko, I have to use them like at least, um, basta po matagal, three to six months. When I use them, hindi ko pa rin talaga ma-achieve yung uh, pre-na-promise nila na nakasulat sa bottle. For example, um, a youthful skin or a softer skin. And then when I stop using the product, parang I go back to zero. So I only get 50% of the benefits. And then when I stop, I go back again to zero. And then when I learned about this, I understood na, ah, kaya naman pala. It's because that product only stays on the outermost layer. Yan. So here naman, so Forever Living Products, when we use our skincare, like I said, because of the aloe vera product, from the epidermis to the subcutaneous up to the innermost cellular level, it really penetrates. So, you can see if you're using our skincare product, mapapansin mo, give yourself at least po a minimum of 30 days. Mapapansin mo yung effect ng no Forever Living product sa skin mo. Talagang mapapansin mo yung kakaiba. Ayan. So, for some naman, uh, they will notice na bakit nung um, nag-shift ako sa Forever Living products, all of a sudden I had rashes or parang medyo nangangati po ako. You have itchiness all of a sudden on your skin. So, um, what you can explain po to your customer is what I do is, normally, I tell them, since you've been using the X brand for a longer for a longer period of time, yung mga residue po or yung mga tera nila, they stay only on the epidermis or on the outer layer. So, what Forever does, because the aloe has a cleansing property, slowly po, nililinis niya, or slowly, it's trying to remove and cleanse out the residue of your previous product. That's why there is a healing manifestation. That's why some, somehow medyo may konti kang mga rashes ng kaunti, pero hindi naman madaming madami. It's because it's cleaning it. That's why give yourself at least 30 days po to see the benefits of the skincare. So I hope you learned. Um, did you learn po from that? And so that's very important because skincare is a very um, critical uh, re range of product that we need to advise to our customers. So normally, this is uh, what I hear from them. Ayan. Okay. So for the skincare, naman, now I will break it up for number one phase, two... Um, Face, uh, for the facial, uh, which we need to do weekly, and third is for the body. So thank you. I, um, it's great that you're learning. So first, we'll go to the face section, which you need to do this or to use this on a daily basis. Number one, um, you need to know is cleanse, two, tone, and three, moisturize. Yeah, and so very common yan. Uh, for, you to under, for you to remember it, just memorize CTM, cleanse, tone, moisturize. So you do this in the morning and also at night before you sleep. Now, the great thing is that we have the product that we can use as a cleanser, which is our aloe avocado soap. 
Now, um, I'd like to know who in this room is using aloe avocado soap already. Can you please type three? That's great. I think most of you are using it. <laughs> All right. So, aloe avocado soap is really a favorite, right? So, sobrang ganda po niya talaga sa balat. It's really good on our skin. Now, what I notice about this soap is that it's very um, economical, matipid siya, and it's not the usual soap that um, it really melts right away, and then you just finish it in what, in a month or less than a month. This one for me, this finishes, I think, two to three months for me, or three to four months. Yeah. So the, it depends on how often I take a bath in a day. And because it has aloe vera, which has a, a strong cleansing property, it also has avocado, which is good fats. So yung avocado po na ginamit dito, the avocado that they used here are the dark green ones, which is high in uh, good fats. So normally pala, when we use a uh, high or when we consume good fats, it's really, really good for the skin. It makes your skin more moisturized, more supple, parang malambot siya. Ayan. So it's a combination. You have it all in this bar of soap. And it's also adaptogenic, meaning whether you're a normal type of skin or sensitive skin ka or dry skin or oily or combination, you can use this for yourself. And so for me, I use this from face to the body as well. Yeah. All right. So the next product that we have is for toning, which is the Sonia Refreshing Toner. This is one of the oldest products that we have in forever. And I really, really love this because ambangonya. It really smells good. So uh, for especially when when I recommend this to my customers and then they smell smell it parang sa smell palang sold na sila so I'm really glad that we have a toner like this so here in this toner it's um, of course it's liquid you can use it with a cotton to just dab on your face after washing your face now it has cucumber which is refreshing and soothing di po ba ang cu cucumber when you apply it normally on your eyes it feels cold and uh, refreshing so now you have this in the toner and it also has white tea and mimosa extract which acts as a protective barrier so normally when you wash your face you dry it up you have to use a toner a very powerful toner like this so that it tightens your pores and prepares it for the moisture moisturizer Ayan. and what i also love about this it's is it's alcohol free. That's very important because if your toner has alcohol, it can burn your skin po. It can really dry up the skin. So here, kahit gamitin mo siya, uh, it doesn't remove the natural moisturizer on your face. Yeah, so it's refreshing and hydrating and use this with a cotton pad after washing your face. So for me naman, if I feel I want to go a, a bit of an extra, I put it on my palm and then I dab it and massage it on my face. So I don't leave it to dry because for you to be able to maximize the aloe vera in it, you have to massage it and make sure it goes into our face, into our skin. So you can also do that. Number three is moisturize. So the best moisturizer to follow is our aloe nourishing serum. Yeah, so this is really my favorite. Um, I'd like to know who in this room uses aloe nourishing serum. Uh, can you please, yes, can you please type four? Sorry, I didn't say the number. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Great, great. And I think you would agree with me, guys, that this is really a very smooth serum. It also smells so good. And it's also very economical. Sobrang tipid po niya. I mean, it's really different from any of the serum in the market because... Most of the serums in the market is not as fine as this. And second, you can easily finish a serum in the market. But this one, it can take 
up to months. Ayan, sobrang tipid, but then it goes a long way. So, um, it has a formula that is easily absorbed in the skin. So, normally, when you apply it on your face, you feel na parang, ay, parang medyo masyado siyang smooth or feeling mo oily siya. But, the formula is easily absorbable. So, really, in less than a minute, you will see na na-absorb siya kaagad. So, konting-konti lang po. Just use a little amount and then massage it all over your face and on the neck. It goes a long way. Now, of course, it has aloe vera, which is the base to enhance the serum to hydrate and soothe. It also has antioxidants in white tea leaves, which helps fight free radicals to keep the skin looking youthful and healthy. And it also has mimosa tenuflora tree bark or a skin tree that, so that the, the skin appears smoother and more balanced. Kaya here when you use this um, as your serum or moisturizer, papansin mo parang medyo shine shine ka. Yeah, and so this, it's really, really a good product. I can attest to this. So why? Because when I was in Dubai, I was using a different forever moisturizer. But when I shifted to the Philippines, I wanted to adapt to what's available. And this is the available moisturizer they have here. So immediately, my skin just adapted just like that. And it's really, really a good one. And ang amoy niya, it has a light citrus scent. So it's also it also smells good. Especially if you're going to um, like sit beside your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, maamoy nila, they can smell it. Na parang, uy, parang ang bango mo. You smell so good. So, yun lang. It's a good compliment when you use this product. Alright. So, again, I'd like to know what's a, what, what do we need to do? What are the three letters that we need to do on a daily basis? Can you please type it on the chat box? I just want to know if everybody's listening. Yung step, yan. See, the end. Cleanse, tone, and moisturize. All right. So I think it's easy to remember, right? Now, next is a weekly skincare. So why do I say weekly? Apart from your daily skincare, this one, you can do this um, at least two to three times in a week only. So what I call this is, thank you, everyone. What I call this is a blackheads or whiteheads facial treatment with exfoliation. That's number one. For some, they call it as an organic uh, facial. Third, for some people, they, they call it a natural facelift or natural Botox. So, ano po ba yung Botox? Yun po yung tampa lift ng ating skin. So, how do you use this? It's very simple. Step one, isisingit mo lang kasi siya sa CTM. So, step one, you cleanse with your avocado soap. Step two, you use this aloe scrub, which is on the right. Step three, you use the mask, um, mix it with an activator, which is the blue bottle. And then step four, tone. And then step five is moisturize. So you can use it two to three times, do it three, two to three times in a week. Now, what I love about this facial is that when I compare it to a traditional facial, you will see that it's very cost effective. Sobrang mura po niya. Um, I remember... I think last week, we just dropped by a facial saloon because we wanted to check on their procedures and we wanted to introduce some of our products. So one lady offered us to do a facial and then I think they offered it for 250 pesos or 300 pesos. Po. But then when I tried to compute our activator along with the, with the mask and the scrub, I think you can use it up to 10 to 15 times, depends on the quantity that you use. So if you divide, divide the price, the total price, divided by 10 to 15 times, it's even less than what you spend for in a, in a facial uh, salon. So it's really cost effective. Number two is it only takes approximately 30 minutes. So yung downtime niya hindi masyadong matagal. It doesn't take you so long. Because normally when you go to a facial outside, it's really time consuming, right? You have to really book and make sure you're not doing anything on that day. But here, it's quick. And third, it's DIY. So like um, before the training, before um, the training today, while I was um, a bit of cleaning the house and just making every, everything is in order, 
I did the facial. So I can do it along with my other um, chores or any other responsibilities. So while also chatting on my phone, my facial, <laughs> I'm doing the facial. So I can do a lot of things with it. And number four, it, it's 100% natural po. Number five, five, no steam is required. No pricking is required, which I really love. Because pricking normally, if you, if you want to get your blackheads or whiteheads removed, they will forcibly prick or squeeze in your pores or blackheads. And then it will just open the pores to all the bacteria, the dust, the wind, etc. So it makes your skin very vulnerable. But this one, there's no pricking at all. You just need to use a facial paper or like a shawarma paper in Dubai and apply the mask and then you can put the facial paper after 30 minutes, it goes with the paper. So natatanggal po yung mga blackheads and whiteheads. And no massages required, yeah. Okay, so quickly I'll run through the facial process. So after mo cleanse, next, uh, the second is you need to exfoliate. So exfoliate, for exfoliation, we use the aloe scrub. And this is really gentle. Don't be scared po for people who have like thin skin or sensitive skin because the scrub has micro beads. Yung beads po nila, very, 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 very small. Na even if you use it twice or thrice in a week, hindi po siya harmful. And it will not open your pores so much. Now, it helps in removing dead skin cells. That's why when, after you scrub, mapapansin mo when you rinse it, parang ang itim uh, ng water or parang medyo uh, dirty siya. Ayan. So those are the dead skin cells that we need to replace. That's why we need this. It's also skin conditioning. So most of the, uh, the scrubs outside, they exfoliate your skin, but they remove the natural moisturizer. Kaya pagkatapos mo maghilamos or magrinse, you can see that your face is so dry. But here, you can, you can feel that your skin is very smooth, and lambot niya. So it gives that effect afterwards. And you will feel na parang napaka-radiant tong skin mo. So this is part of that. Now, the activator naman, this is the one that you mix with the mask powder. So this is just one is to one scoop. If you don't have a scoop, at least like a teaspoon, parang one teaspoon is to one teaspoon. So it contains 98% aloe vera gel, but in a liquid form, it's refreshing and soothing. That's why when you, even if you just hold it, it's very cool and it's a skin conditioner as well. So what it does is, the reason why you mix it with a mask powder is to activate and to carry, it, it's like a messenger. So that when you apply the mask on your face, it carries the nutrients from the mask into your skin. It will make sure that it will carry the message na sobrang healthy ng mask. I will really carry it to all parts of your skin on your face. Ayan. So that's why I really love it. So sorry about this. This should be a mask powder. Now, on the mask powder, um, once you mix them all together, what will happen is it will become a little parang foamy. Dapat para siyang, uh, it's like a melted ice cream. Yan. It's pink in color. And what, once you've mixed it, you can immediately apply it with a brush or even in, with your fingers on your skin. Yan. So evenly. And immediately, you can put on the facial paper and just leave it to dry for 30 minutes. Now, in this mask powder, it has all the nutrients of the aloe vera. And it also contains chamomile. So normally, kasi when you go for a mask outside in a facial salon, what happens is after the mask, parang, uh, parang nabugbug po, no? It's like your skin was tortured. Ayan. But here, you will see na uh, yung skin mo, it's very... Even though it's very delicate, it's like relaxed after the mask. So because of the chamomile. And you will feel also that you get pinkish. And then pag pinitch mo yung face mo, para siyang, it's like a butt of a baby. Yan, parang pwet ng bata. Ganun siya kalambot. Ayan. So this goes for any age, especially from teens and above. Ayan. So I highly recommend this to at least do it two to three times in a day. Ayan.
All right. So the next um, slide naman is for the body. So now that we take care of our face, next is what do we use for our body to make sure na we get the proper products. Now, number one, especially right now with this pandemic happening, you have to make sure that you wash your hands as often as you can, right? And personally for me, um, ever since I used the aloe hand soap of forever, I never really looked into any other brands. I don't know for you, but for those people who have used this aloe hand soap, it's very, very, very silky. Sobrang soft po niya. And just a little goes a long way already. So matipid din po siya. Now, it has cucumber extract and it also has a mild chamomile scent. Kaya ang bango-bango niya, after mo maghugas ng kamay mo, para kang nag-lotion. And it really smells so good because of this. Now, it also has a lemon peel oil, which is skin conditioning. So kakahugas mo, ayan, so sobrang mahokondition yung skin mo. And of course, it has olive oil, which is very natural. So it's really highly moisturizing. It also has a softening formula. Ayan. Now, uh, my husband, Jeff, um, he, doesn't, he doesn't use any shaving cream. He uses this. And it's really amazing because um, I think he's been using this for a long time now, ever since our uh, shaving product has been discontinued before. And I asked him, sabi ko, how does it feel on your skin? Sabi niya, wala lang, parang it's like a shaving cream, sabi niya. So it's really, really soft. And then it's true, kasi when, I, when he let me touch his face after shaving, talagang malambot po yung skin niya. So, so sabi niya, it's really, really good kasi it can also not only be a hand soap, it can also be great for shaving. So for all the men out there po, yung mga nagsha-shave, ayan. So kahit sa mga babae, yung who doesn't want any hair on their body, you can also use this. So matipid na, maganda pa, di ba? Ayan. So it's very mild but effective. Okay. So once you wash your hands or your body, you have to moisturize also. Not, not only the face, you also need to moisturize your whole body. Now, I would attest to this product. It's really, really good. Parang lahat po ng product na no, maganda. <laughs> but this one, okay, so I'll tell you a story. Uh, since I was a kid, I really had the problem of dry skin. And I think back in the Philippines, before we left for Dubai, around, I, I became conscious with my skin nung 12 years old ako. And 12 years old, normally... Um, that time, I don't know how to use lotion yet. So what will happen is, if I don't use lotion, my elbows and my knees would be very gray, grayish, and dry. Ayan. So I often wondered why they're like that. And then sabi lang sa akin na you need to, to use a moisturizer. So what I did when I was already working, I was in Dubai, I used moisturizers. But what I noticed is that um, you have to apply and apply and apply it. So I always carry my lotion with me, the X brand. And I think I need to apply what every, every hour to make it um, moisturized. So sabi ko, this is very expensive and it's, very, it's also tiring. It interrupts my day-to-day -day activities. And then when I met this moisturizing lotion, I loved it because it's very thick. You think that it will uh, be very sticky for your skin, but the thickness actually is absorbed by the body, so it lasts for a long time. Like for me, I think half day and almost the whole day when I'm outside, it really works. So even if I just use it once in a day, but I use this uh, in the morning po and in the evening, so it's really, really good. Now, um, the reason why it's also good is that it restores yung mga crack skin natin. Normally, kasi you're prone to uh, paper cuts or wounds when you have dry skin so if you have a good moisturizer like this it keeps you safe and it's also um, really really good because it has collagen and elastin that's why when my husband when uh, whenever we we go out on a date sabi niya sabi niya parang ano parang sobrang smooth no skin mo sabi ko oh yan yung aloe moisturizing lotion kasi ever since i started forever, 
I really use this. This is one of the first product that I use. So sabi niya, ah, okay, so talagang, talagang you really love the moisturizing lotion. That's why I finish this, I think, every two weeks. One tube, I finish every two weeks. Yan. So sabi ng asawa ko, I, I drink this, but I don't. But because um, it's really, really good. And I really love it. So I highly recommend this for people. And the next product now is the aloe first. So aloe first is also a very good product po. Um, if you're not the type of person na very conscious ka sa skin mo, you just want to refresh, especially if you're at work or you're outside, normally naaarawan ka, you're under the sun, and you've, you're always sweating, I would recommend for you to carry this aloe first with you. Kasi it's really good to freshen up. For example, you don't have access to water. To freshen up, you can just spray it all over your neck, your face, or your arms, and then you'll feel cold po. So it's really, really soothing. And um, kami, hindi din kami nawawala nito at home because it's our first aid. Nasa first aid kit po namin yan. Um, normally, if I cook and then I get yung mga burns sa cooking oil, yan, natatalsikan ako, or I have, I have paper cut, yan. So I normally spray it. Um, I wash it with soap and then um, spray with aloe first para po mawala, masood yung pain niya. And then afterwards, I apply na yung aloe vera jelly. Now, for people who go for waxing or perming, ayan, so some of the salons, they use, it, they use this as a pre-perming solution and after wax treatment. So it's very easy to apply. It comes in a spray form and it's an excellent first aid. So for some people, um, what I do is I have like, nakikarry ako sa, um, not exactly this bottle, but I have a bottle like this with a spray. And then nire-refill ko lang po siya with the aloe first. I refill it with aloe first and then I put it in my bag all the time. So I always carry it outside para I don't have to carry this big bottle. Yeah. And then the next product naman po is yung deodorant natin. So who in this room uses our aloe deodorant? Please type five. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yun. So gising pa. You're, you're still awake, guys. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for everybody um, who typed in five. All right, so it doesn't mean that you use a deodorant, you have a body odor. So don't be embarrassed when you use a deodorant. What I normally tell my clients when I sell a deodorant, um, for some people, because I encounter some people who don't use deodorant at all. But then uh, what happens is, Apparently, if, if here in the Philippines and you sweat a lot, of course, if you're outside for a long time, you don't have any extra clothes or you don't have time to take a bath in between the day, you, you still need a deodorant to keep you fresh. That's why I still recommend this and I'm able to sell this to my clients. Now, the selling point of this deodorant is that number one, it doesn't have any aluminum salt. So this is a harsh chemical and there are a lot of research and publications that say that aluminum salt has, uh, has a relationship with breast cancer. So if, for, if, if you're going to research aluminum salt, aluminum salt is normally used for antiperspirants, meaning uh, deodorants that prevents you from sweating. All right, so that means they block your uh, sweat glands or pores, and then you don't sweat at all, even if you need to sweat. Second, it's also an, an uh, what's this? Um, antibody odor. Ayan. So that's why it's very popular. Now, um, the problem with blocking your pores and sweat glands is that when you sweat, it's the way of the body to release the heat in your body. That's why you sweat. Especially, for example, um, you exercise. The reason why you sweat is because there's a stored heat in your body and you need to release that so that when your sweat evaporates, you will feel cold, you feel fresh, and you'll need to remove the toxins in your body. Now, just imagine if the deodorant you're using is trying to block that pores. So isn't that dangerous? 
of course it's dangerous and it's not normal. So for me personally, anything that is not normal is not good for the body. So this is one of our selling points. And um, number two, it helps remove odor and prevent dark underarms. I personally have attested to this. I, I, I used to use sunflower oil to make my underarm uh, whiter and to prevent it from becoming dark. The problem with that is when I wear a white shirt like this, when I put it on the laundry, my underarm area of this clothes, uh, it becomes yellowish, diba? And even if I use other deodorants, naninilaw sila. So I thought it's because of the, of the water, deep well water, but I found out that it's because of the deodorant and it's because of the chemical that I use under my arm. So since, since 2014, I've been using this deodorant already. And I must say, na naka, it really helped in lightening your underarms and it prevents also. And number three is it's very soothing, no stinging after waxing or shaving. So even after you just shave, even if you waxed it, it's okay, you can easily apply it. Actually, it will even help to soothe yung uh, pores mo after waxing and shaving. And of course, the reason for body odor is bacteria. So it has antibacterial properties of aloe vera. That's why he prevents body odor. And um, I'm really surprised because I used my deodorant. My first deodorant in 2014, I finished it for 12 months or a year yeah, when I was in Dubai. And then later on, when I used it quite a lot, I, it lasts for me six to eight months. So ganun po siya katipid. Yeah, so it's really, really economical. Now, if you know how to sell this product in this way, you're going to sell a lot. So, yeah, so I'm really happy that there are a lot of people using this product. If you're not, if not yet, start it immediately. Yeah, and so last two products for the body, um, aloe vera jelly. So this is like the aloe vera gel drink, but in a translucent gel that is very that is topical or you can apply it on your skin. So it's as fresh as the aloe vera inner gel ayan, in this tube. So normally, um, for example, you have burns or acne, any pimples or athlete's foot, um, eczema, psoriasis, whatever skin condition is. After you spray yung aloe first mo, you can immediately apply this aloe vera jelly. It's a safe lubricant and hindi po siya Ganun kahapde, unless if you have a big wound and then you apply it. So ako normally, when I have cuts, um, even if it's a big cut, I normally put a thick aloe vera jelly. And then after, I'll give it like an hour. Yan, mapapansin ko siya na it helps in parang closing the wound slowly. So hindi na po siya nagiging malala. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, become worse. Ayan. And it's also soothing and moisturizing. So instead of using cucumber on, under your eyes or um, any cold compress on your face, you can use this as your cold compress. So what I do is right now, since in the Philippines we don't have the aloe sunscreen, I use this as my sunscreen. Um, so after my moisturizer, I apply it on my face and then it's already my sunscreen. Tapos I will reapply it in midday. And then, sa gabi naman po, in the night, I use it as an overnight mask. So after washing my face, putting everything in my moisturizer, I apply a thick layer of aloe vera jelly. And then I lie down, face up. And then I just sleep on it. And then the next day, I wash it. So, mapapansin mo, it will tighten your pores. Um, it's a very good anti-aging regime. So, I really, really love it. Now, if you want a colder compress on your face, you can refrigerate this. So for me, pag gusto ko lang mag medyo bit of an extra, I refrigerate one tube sa, yun, I refrigerate one tube. Refrigerate pa, ah, wag freeze. <laughs> and then, in the evening before I sleep, malamig na malamig siya. So when I apply it on my face, perfect siya. So when you wake up, you feel good. So if you're going to an event or you're doing a training like this, yeah, so I did this last night. <laughs> So, yeah, it's really a good one.
Now, lastly is the aloe propolis cream. So normally, combination po siya ni aloe vera jelly. Uh, I normally mix them together because they work hand in hand. Why? Because in this cream, there is a propolis ingredient. Now, this propolis ingredient comes from the bees' saliva plus the beeswax. Now, according to um, research, propolis is the... Um, is the content that they use normally for the bees to cover yung mga small gaps daw sa beehive. Ayan, or sa pulot. Tama po ba yan? Pulot or beehive. So, normally they use this propolis to fill in the gaps para po walang bacteria, no fungi, no parasites can enter the beehive because they're protecting the queen bee. Ayan. So, in the same way, if you're going to apply this on your skin, it's like you're giving yourself an antifungal, antibiotic, and antiseptic property. So, when you apply it on your skin, you will feel that it's very thick, it's white, it's creamy, but don't worry, it's not hot. Now, what you just need to do is you need to massage it along with aloe vera jelly. So, when can you use this? If you have pimples, for example po, yung mga nagdadalaga nating mga let's say, mga anak or uh, sisters or whoever, friends, if they want something for a quick fix for pimple, uh, what I normally recommend is mix it with, mix this with aloe vera jelly and then put a thick uh, layer on that pimple overnight. And then the next day, mapapansin mo may difference. And then do it every night, two to three days, makikita mo na na it dries up fast. Ayan. So you don't need to inject an antibiotic, which is very invasive. This one is already a natural antibiotic. And then for um, diaper rashes, sorry, for mothers who are, or fathers who have babies, ayan. So normally, yung mga diapers, they get red rashes. You can massage this on, their, uh, on the area so that to avoid these rashes as well. And for those people with psoriasis and fungi and other uh, complicated skin irritation, this is a good uh, cream to apply in combination with aloe vera gel. Yeah. So um, that's, my, that's the end of my presentation. I hope you learned a lot. And sorry, but there are really a lot of products for our skin, which I really, really love. So I only, I tackled, I think, most of the skincare products, but there's still more nutritional products that we can use. But as a forever business owner, um, I would advise you that for you to be able to market our skincare product, you should be the product of the product. Um, like for me, when I started this business, um, I really had a bad skin. So I did not wait for my skin to become better, but... As soon as I used it, I, I took a before and after picture and then I observed what I feel on a weekly basis and then I shared that to my clients. So that's how I market the skincare. And then eventually, years after, my skin really showed the benefits of the product. So more than anything else, um, when, we, when we look for skincare products, always remember that it's not because it's a cheap product it's good. Second, and it's not because it's a fad or it's a trend right now, it's good. You have to remember that you have to have the best quality products on your skin. It's be because that's the first, uh, first part of your body that the person will see when you walk outside. So especially we are FBOs, we are forever business owners. We have to show them that we really are the evidence that the product works. Kaya po ako, um, I really could attest that from head to toe, I really use forever. Not, I don't use any other product at all. So even if there's no aloe sunscreen here, I'm not buying any aloe sunscreen outside. I'm using our aloe vera gel. So you just need to become resourceful. And beauty is not when you have makeup on or dapat... Uh, Sobrang guapo ka or maganda ka or, or what, what else. But beauty starts with a clear skin. If you look neat, if you look, if you look clean, and if your skin is clear, 
that already is an evidence that you have that beauty already. So clear skin starts with forever. So I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much. I will be entertaining three questions for tonight. So before we close, 